back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of the Game of the Week. We are coming at you with more Australian things. And, uh, got an interesting little game here. It looks really strong. We've got some good first meets. The culture tree we're crushing. We've got some nice land up here we'll be able to settle, potentially all the way up into here, even. Depending on where things happen here. Fresh water is a bit of an issue, but if we can get a city in here somewhere, um, and then possibly settle the coast, and, like, I don't know, like, potentially we can get something in here. Like, there's a lot of land in here, but, you know, we can get up, even if we can get up in here, uh, maybe get a dozen cities. Uh, we're not really going to get much in here, but it also depends on what's here as well. If we can get a dozen really good cities with some really nice campuses, really crush the uh, science. The tree. I know, Kinsho, I know. Uh, so, yeah, let's just get this thing going here. Um, I think I'm going to sink a couple turns into the granary. Um, we're going to get the campus going here in a second. Um, up here by where the copper is. This builder is on the way. Uh, once we can eat that copper. I'm actually going to buy the tiles now, I suppose. Um, like that. So that we can eat the copper, put down that plus eight campus. We're two turns from the campus here. The specialty district, I could turn that off, but we're actually almost done. I should have turned it off last turn, really. But the way it is now is it's going to be actually have some nice carryover. We might even be able to get the carryover to get this down a turn. So it's possibility with the carryover here. This could be eight turns. Uh, we're actually going to have our government before uh, the ARN, which is really nice. Uh, really, really rocking it hard, which is good. Uh, I'm going to let that guy get rested, and you were going to wait here. We've already hit there, right? Yeah. Um, uh, no, 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 no. This scout right here is going to come down through here, so I'm thinking I might actually send this guy back over here and start clearing out more of this and seeing what's just kind of here. Um, for what's blocking, because it's just there's so much. We've really kind of gotten a decent amount of space here, a lot of potential. Um, last last time we hit this guy, we took more than half his value. We die if we had to win the fight or lose the fight, one way or another. So, yeah, we're about to die. I think I'm pretty sure he dies. Damn it! Ah, oh, we needed another. We needed one more better hit there. That is a bugger. Mmm, that's a bugger. Damn it. Uh, we'll get provisions. We do not lose population from the settlers. We will be very shortly getting uh, that going. Um, no, still nine turns on that. So turn 47? 48? Um, I'm annoyed that I screwed that up, really. Uh, Rovin. Yes, I am. Yep. If you do the mods command in chat, you can see the mods, the two mods I'm using. Oh my god, I lived! Yay! There's the boost. Uh, it just just what it says. It just gives it just gives walls to the city states from the very beginning of the game. It's particularly valuable when you're playing um, 
on deity because the AI starts with such high level of military that they can they easily are able to say, oh wow, I can go and kill all these city-states with all my military and no problem, and it's just kind of annoying. Uh, so I'm interested, so just as a quick look, I'm not going to get into too much depth of exactly where everything's going to go, but I'm thinking this is likely a commercial hub. Um, it's going to be, mm, actually maybe here, the commercial hub as well. Hmm, that's no, that's fine. One, two, three, four, and the river's four. So here it's breathtaking. Although if I get rid of the tree, although the quarry's gonna hurt it, but I'm gonna eat if I eat the quarry. Eventually, I'm gonna eat that stone, so that's fine. Um, I was thinking about just having my districts here, and then but building the government plaza somewhere out here, and then maybe Adelaide can use the government plaza a little bit. I was thinking, I don't know, because if I put the government, I, I could eventually eat that cattle and then put the commercial hub for this city here. Although the commercial hub even up in the mountains for the plus three is fantastic. I don't know, but I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put the government plaza. Um, is the big thing. That's the biggie. Um, I don't even have the ability to clear the marsh, so I can't even put it on the marsh right now. I could switch over to the irrigation and then I would be able to do it in four turns, but it's five turns away and I don't want to delay the building of my build, the thing there. Uh, shoot. Um, I could put it here. Although really, that's a great spot for a district there. I could put it here, and then any cities in here could actually use the land in and around that. I'm going to put it right there, I think. Uh, and then there's like four tiles in and around that that I could potentially put districts on um, at some point from, from any other city, really. Particularly from Adelaide, I don't know. I think this is the one that makes the most sense. Although, mm, the pasture... I don't know. Maybe I put it here. Because I was just thinking the uh, outbacks around the pasture are going to be powerful and I don't want to take up flat land on those. And maybe if I put it here or here. Here. Commercial hub there. Commercial hub there. Government plaza there. And then I could put, uh, although that's, yeah, then I can't really put a lot of districts around it because I don't want to take up the hills. God, I don't know, guys. The government plaza is essentially not going to be a good for ad adjacencies. The way that, the way that this, uh, sieve works, it's not, it's just simply not going to be all that advantageous. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Uh, eat the gold. Zoink. Start the campus. Seven turns we can use another two two tile. We'll make that go even faster. Uh, how much is it to buy a library? Three sixty. We'll make a decent gold, but we're still a ways away. Uh, let's go like this, like this. This warrior does, oh there he is. I was going to say this warrior doesn't want to move. <clears throat> let's grab that promotion. Uh, and then this builder, 
I'm gonna come back and eat that marsh for population. And I'm gonna need builders. I'm actually looking at a Dark Age, which I don't mind setting up a heroic with. But I'm gonna need builders. <laughs> Because I'm going to need to chop. Hmm. Let's figure that out. Uh, TNTST. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome aboard. Manchester. Need to get south of Jerusalem. Take a look. We are six turns from our Dark Age, potentially. Get that government plaza going. Although that government plaza is going to give us... Hmm. We might end up getting out of the... We might end up screwing ourselves out of the Dark Age, to be honest with you. Brazil. Wow, I'm surprised these guys aren't at war, are they? Lack of satisfaction. Oh, they're actually friends up north. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Okay. There should be some wars going on here, you'd think. <clears throat> hmm, excuse me. If you don't, I know, I know, I need to stop exploring. That's uh, the problem is, is I'm, have lived without love. I'm two away, and when I choose my government, I'm gonna have to not choose my government. I think, because choosing my government is gonna give me my era score. Oh, that sucks. I'm just trying to make sure I get this barb camp cleared out. I'm going to need archers. Uh, meaning I, I would like to be in a dark age. Because there's no advantage to being in a, just a standard age. Uh, for the for this year. So my, I'd just rather be in a dark age. So that I get a I get heroic age the following. Because the difference between normal and dark at this point is nothing. Right? I need to stop exploring. I know I do. Jesus. Oh, Pedro declared war on Tamiris. A second ago, they said they were friendly. I need to bail. Yes, someone betrayed someone indeed. Uh, Government Plaza is done. I need a builder. Uh, so I can... Have a, I just need builders to be ready when I get my uh, government building. So I'm just going to grab a builder now and then I'll get my government building after that.
Just like, I'm gonna come back out here. What I'll do is, uh, if I don't choose my government, if you don't choose your government, can you go back and get it the next turn, or do you have to wait until you're finishing other? I think yeah, you have to fin wait until you finish another thing, right? Hmm. You know what I could do is I could delay it. Because I'm going to be delayed anyway. I can't start the building for four turns anyway. So I could put a turn into the military tradition so that I get the political philosophy at the same time. Sixty gold. I think I just I I just screwed that up. Uh, I screwed that up. I think I I didn't go back to it. I I lost. I cost myself one turn. God, I almost screwed up there. I almost stepped on this tile because I'm too stubborn not to stop exploring. And there's a a, a luxury era luxury, a wonder right here. A uh, Toradel Pine is right there, I think. Stop exploring, Mark. is carving a divide and rule a sound motto unite and lead a better one um let's oh i gotta choose my government before i can uh Free inquiry. Uh, class or public. Um, bada bing, bada ba doom. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Uh, I don't have a domestic trade right at the moment, so that's not gonna help me. Production towards builder. 
and plus two influence points. Actually, no. Yeah, no, that's fine. I don't have an envoy to send right now, but when I have an envoy, I'll put that on. So that's good there. I don't need this yet. Uh, I don't need to buy any tiles, I don't think. That's going to make me a couple gold, which I'll do for the next few turns. Um... So I'll come down here because I want to get to this card right there. So the faster I get to that, the better. Yeah, it goes dark. Yeah, it does, Johnson. It, comes, it goes dark and then it goes brighter in the Golden Age. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. You're going to go there and go to sleep. Uh, Ancestral Hall by turn 59. Uh, we're now in our so we'll just go like this. Several closely situated granite pain. Torre del Pain. Am I the first? No, I didn't think I would be. It would be hard for me to have been the first. That thing is amazing. We're just gonna need some fresh water in and around it. Looks like it's in the tundra though. Eh. Some beautiful tiles there if we can grab them. Uh, Awakened Elder, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate you being here. Don't forget, guys, if you're new and you haven't already, you can hit the YouTube command in chat there and follow it on over to the YouTube channel where you can do the YouTube things. Thank you. I appreciate that, Awakened. Very nice to hear uh, compliments like that. Always a pleasure to have new folks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so there's an archer over here somewhere. Who doesn't want to come after us. He's a coward! I'm going to need to turn these guys into archers. Maybe I want. I was waiting on archer because I might want to do one more slinger. I like to get the three slingers at least before I turn them into archers. I also was thinking about spending my money on buying a library, so... Probably want to buy a library in this city because I'm going to be building, being busy building settlers. Uh, you're going to go to sleep and wait. Um, yeah, waste of, a waste of a Torre del Pain. So, look at this. If I could take it to Jerusalem a little later, that is going to be another plus eight mm -hmm. campus. Plus, who the heck knows what's over here for campuses? Man, I get nervous when things are going this well because I feel like there's a chance it's going to get screwed up. You got to execute. When things are going well, you got to execute in order to take advantage of it. Uh, I'm going to give her the delegation because I, I want the gold. Everyone loves that good crusade. Pyramids. Free settler. <clears throat> a 
I don't think so. Yeah, I thought so. Um, I don't know how well it's visible. I'm actually going to have a background put on it, I think, just for that one spot. Yeah. I'm going to get a, a background on it and then... Uh, and then I think it'll work well, Snoogs. Just so it's a little bit more visible. Mod the next turn button to beard symbol. <laughs> Mod it up. The English city is completely surrounded by fresh water. Oh yeah, fresh water here and here, is that what you mean? Dr. Gallon, is that what you're saying there? It it's, got, it's got fresh water everywhere. Uh, you thought the border was a river? Yeah, it's it's not it's not in there. Yeah, would have been interesting though. Eh? Uh, just as a veto, thank you very much. Uh, let's see. I'm thinking I kind of want to do this after though. Man, somebody's already getting five scientist points a turn. And then England's getting 5.7. Jeez Louise. Ah, uh, because there's an archer over there. There's an archer standing right there, and I can only go one at a time, and I'll get crushed. Uh, so my plan is to uh, turn them into archers in a minute. I want to get one more slinger built after this builder. Once I have three slingers, here we go. Uh, it could be Scotland. Uh, it could be Germany is, is good at getting campuses down early or, or uh, uh, Korea even. Uh, I was. That went up fast. That was crazy how fast that went up. I'm kind of stuck right now. I kind of have to do archery. I need to get this. I should have went. You know what I should have done? I should have gone slingy. Ah! Screw this. I should have gone Slinger then Builder. That was my own fault. Yeah. 
Yeah, therein lies the problem. Shot an arrow into the air. Now the archer is going to take forever. <clears throat> oh, shoot. I would lost my. I wanted to go do the iron mine and then go out here, but I'm losing my train of thought. Damn it. All the world's a stage. Okay, so Ancestral Hall is built, correct? Uh, I have 50% production towards Settlers on, the plus one production card on, the maintenance plus two on the way. Uh, settler card is on, Ancestral Hall, yes, done. If I put a city there, I could potentially put another city there. I'm just trying to think here. Can't get a city in there now. If I, hmm, <laughs> maybe a city there and a city here to get a city there. One, two, three. Oh wait, no, I can actually get it there. I put a city there. Uh, it'd be nice to get the spice. So if I go here, I get the spice as well, and I grab the stone and some more chops out here, so that's pretty good, and then I can get this city in as well. And then one, two, three, I could put a city. Uh, here. Like that. You're looking at like campuses out on the uh, 
on the piers like that uh, that would be a campus there as well uh, you would put your you could put districts all along here those would all, all these districts here would be uh, extremely good as well He who controls the spice controls the universe. You love that quote. I'm not sure what's going on here. If I want to put a city there, or maybe it's just a city there. I could potentially just put the city here. One, two, three, four, five. We could take those two, it would be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, maybe. If we can get three cities out here, that'd be 12. That's before we would consider going up here, which she's, she's starting to encroach, but we could potentially still get something up there. First off, it counts as two is what I want to do in here. More than likely. Oh man, I'm trying to... I guess I can go here because I got that boost. I'm going to get a city found on a coast to get that boost. Hopefully we can get that at some point. Uh, I'm going to get both of these boosts very shortly so I can I can do iron mining next and that'll give me that. Water mill won't be a problem. Three specialty districts won't be a problem, I don't think. Three mines won't be a problem. Three archers should not be a problem. Uh, when you do your civics tree, do you branch out or do you race to certain civics? Uh, it depends. Um, at early on, I, get t I tend, tend to aim for certain ones. So early on, I'm aiming for this card here that has a campus district adjacency bonus of 100%. So I've got these amazing campuses. So that that, that card in six turns is going to be very viable. That's going to be like an extra 16 science. Um, just by turning that on for the two, the two that I have now. Uh, so that's fantastic. And then I'll focus on getting to my next government up here. Um, and along the way, feudalism. So I'll push to feudalism and then to Merchant Republic. Uh, and then from there, you know, it just kind of depends on what the goal is at that point. But I tend to focus on going in a direction. And then uh, technology, same kind of thing. Um... There's certain ones you're going to want. I like got there's certain wonders you want to aim for as well. But also, 
trying to line up you getting your boosts so getting like getting your boosts so you don't have to waste time researching stuff cold uh the boost is a lot of science to leave behind if you don't get them so you try and get everyone you can and so oftentimes you just find yourself researching stuff that you just don't have the boost for yet so i'm not researching this because i want to finish it with by mining a resource which i'm going to do same with the iron mine so i'm just sticking with stuff that i've already got the boost to uh as long as i'm not going out of my way essentially um so yeah it's turn 61 settlers are on the move we're chopping down all the things in the capital to get the settlers and the things and the stuff and uh the campuses are fantastic uh this is gonna be pretty good we're gonna have I'm, i think we're gonna get a bunch of really nice campuses on this side as well i don't know how good the cities will be uh i really want to get a city over here by Torre del Paine. i really like that there's a river here uh or sorry a lake here so i can get fresh water and get a city right there potentially a city on this river maybe this coast can get us three cities i think we can get to 12. that's before we even consider going up here so we've got the cities on the move doing the things and the stuff so uh that's that episode folks thank you for joining me again it really means a lot if you'd hit that like button it doesn't take but a second to do and it supports me a lot hope you're enjoying the videos we'll see you on the next one Bye bye